natural gas company halted its use of a controversial mining technique called fracking after a blowout in a Pennsylvania well spilled thousands of gallons of toxic fluid into a local waterway. It's not the first time the environmental impact of fracking has been questioned. In Arkansas, some geologists think the disposal of wastewater from fracking may be leading to an incredible uptake in earthquakes more than 1,100 since September. Here's Chris Bury. At this Arkansas school, anger is in the air. You need to start hounding your government. The residents gathered here are worried. How would we know about the gas wells sprouting up around them? I just know my house started shaking. And whether drilling is to blame for the earth literally moving under their feet. The house shook, my cat landed on top of my chest, all my dogs started barking and going off. Something happened. What's happening? Earthquakes. More than 1,100 since September. Most of them tiny, two or three on the Richter scale, but some around four, California-sized. Teachers at this school attest to that. There's no foundation. You're just shaking and you can't go anywhere because everywhere's shaking. That scared me the most was in the middle of doing a lesson with my students and the earth shaking and realizing it was an earthquake. The shaking here is the newest development in the raging national argument about drilling for natural gas. What's happening? How are they happening? Why are they happening? We know that they're happening. Josh Fox, a filmmaker, is here showing his Oscar-nominated documentary, Gasland. Uh, I'd love to find uh, somebody to interview at Halliburton. His film is critical of a drilling method called hydraulic fracturing, or fracking. Fluid is injected into rock, breaking it to release natural gas. The film focuses on fears about the water supply. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Nightline brought Fox to Arkansas because of all the new questions here about drilling and earthquakes. The voices here, he says, are like canaries in a coal mine. People are your first level of scientific data. Um, you have to trust what the people are saying on the ground as your first level of in any investigation. In the gentle hills of the Arkansas River Valley, the treasured serenity has been shattered. The ground just rolls. It just rolls. For Dirk de Turk and his neighbors, the shaking began last summer. And it's like a, a loud thunderclap, and the house shakes at the exact same time. This that has split and cracked here in the sheetrock when the... It seems it's, like your whole house is kind of my se whole, separating. Yes, my whole house is, is kind of... that's a good way to put it. Susan Fry showed us the cracked walls in her home. This house was swaying. You felt like you were on a roller coaster or going down a hill or sitting on a rowboat in the middle of the ocean with somebody rocking the boat. The shaking got so frequent she installed a plumb line to keep track, posting the results on YouTube. 4.54 p.m. and we've got some really big swaying going on now. There's about a thousand and fifty earthquakes. Arkansas geologist Scott Osbrooks is a lead detective on the case. And so these dots represent earthquakes. More than a thousand earthquakes that have occurred just in, since last summer. Yes, sir. Just since uh, basically since uh, September. The earthquakes are rattling the countryside in what's known as the Fayetteville Shale. Just since 2005, more than 3,000 gas wells have been drilled here, bringing thousands of jobs and billions in revenue to a dirt poor place. But at what cost? See, the drilling is continuing to uh, produce more and more waste. Josh Fox is exploring a theory held by many residents that the tremors can be traced to how wastewater from thousands of fracking wells is handled. You see that enormous pit of wastewater there? Right. That's wastewater coming up out of the well, um, and uh, this is what they're injecting back down into the ground. The wastewater, millions of gallons, is trucked to disposal sites like this. They inject the equivalent of a 30-acre lake weighing a billion pounds deep into the earth. But the gas companies insist no scientific evidence links the injection wells to earthquakes and that some quakes were recorded in the region before the wells were drilled. I've never been so scared in my life. But nothing like this. It just rattled the foundation. In February, a 4.7 shook the earth all the way to Memphis, the biggest quake here in 35 years. 
and all of a sudden the whole bed just was like that, the whole house. You could just feel everything, everything going. This is a seismometer. Geologists hunting clues to the mystery are installing seismic monitors across the region. Kind of like earthquake chasing. Now they're getting real-time data from state parks to backyards. The quakes are taking place along a newly discovered fault line, seven and a half miles long. If that was to rupture at all at one time, then you could generate theoretically up to uh, a magnitude 5.7 to a 6.0. 5.7 to 6.0, which is yes. a really big which is, earthquake. Which is a damaging, damage, could potentially be a very damaging earthquake. In March, only days after that 4.7 earthquake, energy companies under pressure from state regulators shut down two injection wells closest to the fault line, including this one, then owned by Chesapeake Energy. We do not agree with the conclusions. Uh, we believe there's a lot of natural seismicity in this area, and there's a lot more subsurface data and, and facts and uh, science that needs to be brought to bear. We have to side with that uh, public safety concern and, and address that in a way that uh, maybe science don't, does not totally support. If there's a tie, you have to come down on the side of the residents? Yes, we think the public safety has to, to rule the day in this particular case. Since the two injection wells were shut down, the earthquakes have not stopped altogether, but they have tapered off dramatically. We saw a 50% reduction in the amount, number of earthquakes. 50% reduction? 50% reduction in pretty the Pretty dramatic. Of, pretty dramatic. Arkansas has now put a temporary halt on any new disposal wells, and for some here, the evidence is piling up. Are you convinced that this drilling is leading to the earthquakes? Yes, I am. I am 100% totally convinced. Coincidence or not, Arkansas regulators may decide soon whether to allow the two injection wells to operate again, leaving residents wondering if peace will ever return to their valley. I'm Chris Bury for Nightline in Guy, Arkansas.